Hi, I'm Bethany Wallace, Content Manager for College Recruiter. At College Recruiter, we believe every student and recent graduate deserves a great career. We create a quality candidate and recruiter experience. Our interactive media solutions connect students and graduates to great careers. I'm here today with Haim Shapiro, Assistant Director for the Office of Career Services at Toro College. Haim is a public speaker, a freelance writer, and social media consultant specializing in LinkedIn. Today, Haim Shapiro is offering his top 10 LinkedIn tips. And the fourth tip is how to provide your contact information on LinkedIn. Haim, thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much. I'm going to point out a couple of things here about your contact information. Again, we're in the edit mode of your profile here. And I click on this little thing on the right of the bottom of my box that says contact info. This is going to give me the opportunity to include more information for people to contact me. You will see this is visible to my connections. So somebody who's coming from the outside, potentially somebody who's not connected to me or connected via my URL will not see this. So you can see here that I include my email address because that is something I definitely want people who are connected to me to see. I include my cell phone number here, though I will warn you that when you do that, it is definitely possible, and I do get spam calls on occasion where people are trying to sell me different things. But to me, I'd much, much rather get occasional spam calls than miss an important call which can provide an opportunity for me. Uh, I do not put my address here. I don't want people showing up in my house. So from my perspective, it's not a good idea to actually put your address where people can find you so easily. I also have my Twitter account up here connected. Twitter is a great engagement tool. LinkedIn is a much better way to promote yourself as a professional, potentially to identify other people. The best engagement tool is Twitter, so I like make it very easy for people to find me there as well. Now, you can also include other websites here. You'll see if you click this little edit button right here, it gives you the opportunity to choose a number of different possible websites, personal website, company website, etc. Now, a lot of people just simply put up, for example, personal website or company website. But if you go to the other button, it actually gives you the opportunity to specifically name what that website is. To me, this is a very powerful tool because if I want to tell people what my website is about, HaimShapiro.com, my personal website, I'm trying to get them to book LinkedIn workshops. And instead of saying personal website, I'm saying book LinkedIn workshops. So if somebody clicks on this profile view, via the view mode, they know exactly it is where they're going and what they're going to be getting. So I think it's a good idea to go and edit, choose that other, and make this specifically geared towards what you want other people to find. Okay? And what, the things that actually give them specifically towards the particular message you're trying to portray. In addition, I can't really show this to you right now, but I also advise people, because again, this is only visible to your connections. There's a summary that you can include at the top of your LinkedIn profile. I generally advise people to include their email address in this summary. The reason for that is, as I mentioned before, this is visible to your connections. If somebody is looking at three or four potential LinkedIn consultants and they want to connect with me but they don't have my email address because they're not directly connected with me, LinkedIn charges them $10 or something that's called an in-mail message. And if I have three possibilities and I have to pay $10 for two and one is free, I'm definitely going with the freebie. So if you include your email address in your actual summary, that way people can easily find it and contact you whether they are connected to you or not. And I'm going to pass that back to Bethany now. Thanks, Chaim. For more information on these LinkedIn tips, you can follow Chaim at, on Twitter at Chaim Shapiro. He's the Assistant Director of Toro College Career Services. You can also follow College Recruiter's blog at collegerecruiter.com and follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter at Entry Level Jobs, and YouTube.